I'm having so much trouble. Sorry. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. There we go. That's better. This is all better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's been a little while. Uh, I am sorry about that. Uh, had a couple of weeks of... Uh, of just um, just a couple of rough weeks, I guess. And then last week I was uh, I was super sick. I missed like three days of uh, of work. Um, so uh, thanks for for coming back and uh, and hanging out. Um, I have a whole intro and I've forgotten how to do it because uh, because it's been so long. Um, hold on, it's here. Okay. Hello. It is Thursday. It is November 16th. I am Sean Bouchard. This is Play by Play. This is where I play video games, talk about experience design. I'm super excited about it. Tonight is going to be Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments, uh, a game that I have been wanting to play apparently since 2014. Like, holy cow, time flies. Um, this was this game was developed by Frogwares, uh, which is a Ukrainian uh, advent console adventure game studio. Um, that I uh, I don't I don't really know, uh, and I don't think I've played any of their games previously. Um, they're most famous for doing uh, the series of Sherlock Holmes games. Um, of which I think there are some high and low points. Uh, the, uh, oh shit, I can't think of the name of the one that is, um, uh, has a hilarious, um, AI behavior on Watson, uh, that is the subject of a pretty amazing internet video. Um, but regardless, uh, this one got, uh, pretty good reviews, uh, and has a, um, has a hook, has a gimmick. Uh, that I find really super intriguing. My understanding of how this game works is that it's sort of typical adventure game fare. Uh, you are Sherlock Holmes. You are investigating crime scenes. You are trying to solve mysteries. The gimmick is... Um, the game doesn't stop you when you get to the right solution. Uh, so, to some extent... It's up to you as a player to decide that you have solved the crime uh, and then hand down your judgment of who the perpetrator was. Uh, and it is possible to get that wrong. There is a definitively correct answer. Um, and it is possible to, to, to be incorrect. Uh, but the game doesn't tell you. Uh, that you got it wrong. It just goes on to the next case. And uh, and then I think the the consequences of those decisions propagate forward through the story to the next case. And there's like five or six cases or something like that. Sounds fascinating to me. I am super psyched about it. Um, and uh, uh, I'm really eager to play it. Yeah. Um, and since it's been so long, I'm not going to hold this up by talking about other stuff. We're just going to play this video game. Uh, and let's get started. That is, oh, in memory of the Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred. Interesting. Shit, I like this cinematic opening. Damn! This is this is like very uh, big budget movie inspired, right? Reminiscent of uh, of especially like superhero movies. That's an interesting tone to set. Uh-huh. OK. 
Okay, there's a deduction space icon indicates some of your clues can form an important deduction. Uh, what the hell is the deduction icon? It was like a flower? Uh, there's a case book. I actually saw the... Yeah, so the deduction... I can't tell what that is. Um, I saw a little bit of this game in action and it looked neat, so I'm excited about it. Seems, this seems very typical Sherlock Holmes. Uh, okay, so this is like a, a Telltale style adventure game. Like I, I'm, I can move around a little bit, but I'm very limited. I don't have like motion controls, but I can take cover at the sofa. <laughs> what is the? The dialogue is really quiet. In a way, in a way that like makes this quite surreal. <laughs> he seems <laughs> Watson seems like relatively nonplussed by all of this. Stop Holmes. Is that you, Watson? <laughs> yes, of course Jesus it is. Christ. And you almost <laughs> killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Policeman, I see. Ninth step avoided. Inspector Lestrade. Lestrade? What is it this time? They can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. That's pretty Gentleman good. That was neat. I like that. Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? <laughs> I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should have Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Okay, tab for casebook. Tab for Woodman's Lee. Pause. Okay, so uh, volume is low. Let's see. I can up the master volume somewhat and then take the music volume down. Maybe? Let's try that. Let's try that. Let me know how that is, guys. All right, um, jet lag uh, says that this is a real uh, like Sherlock Holmes story. I assume a um, uh, oh Jesus, am I making a fool out of myself? But Sherlock Holmes was written by 
Uh, holy shit. Um, well, regardless, um, this is, uh, uh, I'm not familiar with this one. I have read, uh, Conan Doyle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I, uh, I have read, uh, at least a handful of, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's, um, Sherlock Holmes stories, but I don't think I know this one. Um, so that'll be interesting. It'll be interesting if I can, if we can sort of discern at all whether this experience changes, uh, if you are familiar with the source material or not. All right. So I've got, I've got, I got a bunch of shit in this journal, right? But right now I'm looking at tasks and my tasks are investigate the murder of Peter Carey, inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee and select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe to join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. Um, this is, they're organized obviously sort of in a, um, a hierarchical faction, a fashion. Uh, so this is my sort of like top level, what I'm doing in general. And this is what I am doing right now. Uh, which is, I think that's fairly common for task lists in sort of the era of, um, like, MMOs. Uh, Baker Street and Woodman's Lee. So this is a map. I don't know if I can, can I, tr oh, did I just travel there? Or, like, what was? I cannot leave yet. I am not finished Okay, here. so that's a fast travel option. I see. And then this is inventory evidence. Peter Carey, known as Black Peter, born 1845 and so 50 years old. He achieved great success while hunting in Scandinavia, retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodman's Lee. I don't have any documents and I don't have any interesting dialogues. But I do have like a complete uh, record of dialogues, which is pretty cool. That'll be useful. No idea what any of this is. Okay. So I gotta get a suit. A suit is basically what I am. My analysis doing. table. It is useful for my work. Just looking around. You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. I mean, which is no small feat, right? Like, it's not just like he's made, he's wrecked the room. He's literally shot holes in the walls in, like, structural components. Like, isn't that going to be expensive and difficult to repair? This is where I keep my post. Stabbed to the mantle? Okay my archive. I can always consult with it if needed. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. My archive. Depiction of that. I can always consult with it if needed. Oh, what a mess. What a terrible mess. I, yeah, it's yes. Yeah. It's a mess. All right, this is Watson's room. Watson's room is small. Uh but tastefully appointed. Very neat, very practical. Well, this is not dissimilar, except for the disguise station and uh, the paintings look a little bit grander, I guess. Okay, so I gotta find a suit, probably in a closet. Uh, oh, I literally get to just choose my suit. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this has an effect. If I can, like, this is going to change uh, anything about the way that people react to me. I mean, a lot of this seems like just character customization sort of stuff. And I don't know what the bandit outfit is, uh, but, like, Farmer outfit and sailor outfit seem. Is that locked? Can I not? 
Oh, I think that's okay. Alright, how do I... I can put on a disguise? Holy shit. This is crazy. Crazy. Definitely top hat. I mean, I shouldn't. I should not top hat. If I'm trying to look like a sailor. <laughs> These are amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yes. 100% yes. Oh, I like these ones. And then let me just look at the rest of the options. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yes. There we go. There we go. Um, well, shit. This, that stuff was locked. Oh, look. All right. I feel like that could have been made clearer. Okay, so now do I, am I supposed to just fast travel at this point or can I leave the apartment? Yes, okay. Woodman's Lee. did this. You're done. All right. Uh, the Merry Men struck a powder reserve. But that's unrelated to this case. What is T? Oh, oh, I have eagle vision. Okay, sweet. I'm not, oh, footprints. Ooh, ooh. These footprints appear to be quite large. Good job. What does evidence required mean? Already done this. These okay. footprints appear All to right. be quite large. Good job, Sherlock. Useful information. What about uh, is that? I thought that was. Is that not Lestrade? Where's Lestrade? It seems that the garden was well maintained. Mr. Holmes? Hello, Mr. yes. Mr. Holmes? Uh huh, okay. It seems that the garden was well maintained. I think that little green icon means that I have already taken this action. Like, I've already investigated this. Mr. Holmes? Yeah. That's my name. Do not wear it out. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. What is this? Whoa. 
Okay. Okay, forward and backward are sort of weird phrases, but uh, birdhouse. But there's basically like a line of gardening gloves, crested tit. Oh, crested tit on the on the. Okay. Oh, it's filling in. I see. There's several things that I can find. That's cool. I like that mechanic. That was neat. Okay. Uh, anything unusual? One was body found. Is there a gardener? Everything will become easier. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Okay. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open. But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around 10 o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and, oh dear. <clears throat> I see, so these are all changing. I mean, they're not all changing, but the ones that I've selected are changing. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here after his retirement. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true, Ooh, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Oh, interesting. So, di what did my character portrait do? You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Uh, what? Q uh, what? Uh, choose the evidence that confronts the statements of a character in order to continue the How do you know about Plymouth? Uh, pilgrimage? I don't remember anything about Plymouth. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married Whoa. him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Interesting. Okay, a lot to absorb there. First of all, uh, Ender Sword, thank you very much for subscribing. Really appreciate that. Um, okay. So, first of all, quick time events in dialogue. That's unusual. Uh, I can't think of another game where I've seen quick time events in dialogue. Uh, that was kind of rad. Um, I was not prepared for it. And then, uh, that felt very Sherlock's home, Sherlock Holmes to me in that, uh, I was given sort of four possible answers, uh, and three of them like sort of made sense to me and I was pretty sure were wrong. Four of them, like... I knew were not the correct answer. One of them, I had no idea what it even meant. Uh, but 
I knew the correct answer couldn't have been any of those other four. It was it, Plymouth wasn't in the character profile. It wasn't in uh, it had nothing to do with the garden, right? So it had to it had to be related to um, to a, a, a pilgrimage of some sort. That was neat. Okay. Uh, Gary points out uh, possibly all four of those were um, uh, were correct, uh, and they would have had different justifications in order to make me feel like I select I was really smart and selected the right answer, no matter what answer I chose. And that is entirely possible. Uh, that is um, actually like a pretty smart uh, uh, sort of design uh, to put in there if that's if that's how they did it. Especially this early in the game, right? Like, Mr. Holmes. at this point, you sort of want the player to start getting into character. Um, that's the that's the big uh, motivation behind a lot of what's happening right now. Is like feel like you are Sherlock Holmes. Um, so you don't want to get questions wrong, uh, especially like simple questions. Uh, you want narratively for Sherlock Holmes to seem super smart. Uh, but uh, you want to make sure that the player, like, does it. Seems super smart. Feels super smart. Doesn't feel like they, they screwed it up. Um, Jetlag asked if I just purposefully walked along the path. Uh, which, yes, of course I did. There's a path there of course i'm gonna walk on the path Are you crazy peter carey's body is inside the cabin we took care not to touch anything all right let's look the door is locked wait just a moment mr holmes and i'll open it i locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence ah good thinking Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Ooh. Let me see. Curious. Uh, how the hell do I enter Eagle Vision? I guess like that. These scratches are fresh. Fresh scratches. That looks like uh, an attempted lock You're right. pick. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Interesting. This, the music is interesting. It's very slow paced. What a terrible way to die. That is a terrible way to die. What is that? He got skewered with. Is that a harpoon? Does this do anything? I'm not sure. Oh. The shelf shows up. Oh, there's this suspiciously empty space. <gasps> Outline in the dust! This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. That's right. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Wait. What, am, what, what is F? What am I doing? Oh, shit. What's happening? What, it, what's, am I, what's happening? What is F? Oh, is this, this is my imagination view. I see. And when I turn that off, okay. All right. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So if I look over here like a human being there is nothing on the shelf if i use my eagle vision 
I can see highlight sort of like the thing that I'm supposed to observe. And if I use my imagination vision, then uh, that helps me keep track of things that are missing from the scene. Okay, that's cool. It's a, that is a lot of visions to keep track of. Uh, boots? Peter carries boots. They look to be a size eight. Is that is that big or small, Sherlock? Like compared to the footprints outside? Nothing interesting. Oh, it kicked me out of there. Harpoons for hunting whales. Oh, that's where the harpoon came from. I see. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Hmm. The ship's logs okay. of the Sea Unicorn for the years 18... Got it. Okay. Uh, interestingly, I guess because it's an object of interest, and that is uh, something to examine. The things that can be examined... Uh, check off when I have finished examining them. Objects of interest, because I might want to refer back to them, don't do that. Someone drank from this glass recently. Wow, the, the, the UI is a little... How do I... Ro how do I rotate? Oh, like that. Hmm, this aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations this? in one picture. Rotate and move elements from a clear picture. Holy shit, what? It's clearly a ship uh, of some sort and a pipe. Okay, not that way. Maybe this way. Put that at the end there. Uh, am I also... All I can do is rotate, right? So there's just got to be like a... Uh, a way for it to line up, right? Oh shit, like that. Something very similar to this. Oh, and then I can move parts of it as well, I see. There we go. Okay. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong Got and it. very popular among sailors. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. I really like that puzzle, but I am a huge fan of perspective puzzles uh, and have put them into games. Rum. Um, a sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Okay, so there's an interesting mechanic where um, it seems like a lot of times I will go from a macro scene to looking at a small part of that in detail to a um, and like an insert shot, uh, and then. Uh, there will be several things for me to do there, and when I've done them all, it'll just kick me back out to the regular, uh, to the macro again. This man is in his 50s. Yet he still looks quite strong. 
He's got a hell of a beard. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. He was not caught by surprise. Presuming that if he was out here drunk without a visitor, he would have immediately gotten naked. Is that the idea? That he would have that he would have like taken off some of his unnecessary Victorian clothing. The I guess? weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. What is, whoa, that's spun around a bunch of times. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. J.H.N. Oh, the pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Okay. Oh, I can open it. Got it, got it, got it. These abbreviations mean something. But what? Okay. Mysterious abbreviations. Uh, a sea knife. This wooden handle is plain and solid. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, um, but he did not succeed. Okay. Did I? Oh, Peter oh, Carey oh! Was impaled to there the it wall is. By a wailing harpoon. I feel like that was maybe the first thing that you would have uh, noticed about the scene, but okay, it's fine. All right, so the shelf, that's an examine though. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catchers. Do you think Peter Carey was a sailor? Okay, I feel like the we have examined this pretty the ship that Peter Carey commanded. thoroughly. I do, I have a tendency to get stuck on geometry a little bit. Hammerfest. Okay. Dundee. It's a whaling map. Okay, okay. Well, good. I'm gonna go into, what the hell is B? Oh, B is insight. Oh shit, what? Find a pair of related clues and it will form a deduction. Red color signifies unachievable clue combinations. Okay, uh, notebook, pin to the wall, breaking attempts, no gardener. Uh, dr draw a clear picture of the crime by forming your deductions from the combination of clues. Track down the guilty party. Okay, so I chose uh, break-in attempt and notebook because the notebook does not belong to Peter Carey. Uh, perhaps the notebook, somebody was trying to break back into the cabin to retrieve the notebook. That's why I thought those two things are related. Now, it's telling me to browse. I don't know what this... An ambush must be made tonight to see if the break-in attempt will be repeated. Okay. That makes sense. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Okay. Is that... 
Can I do more? Is that all I can do? So that's a task now, I see. Now I can go back to my... Um, I see, okay. Uh, I don't know how, so what if I do something wrong? Uh, there was no gardener and he was pinned to the wall. That's no good. Okay, so I can sort of like brute force this, right? I can say break in attempts, pin to the wall. No, I can say uh, I've done it all. So, okay, great. But I feel smarter when I don't brute force it. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll talk to, uh, to uh, Lestrade about that. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. <laughs> it is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? Makes sense. We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. The, um... The facial model for Holmes, at least, is pretty good. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Well, okay, so do should I just am I supposed to just wait for tonight? Like is that a thing? Footprints. I've already, I've looked at these. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. so, but now I have Carrie's boots. I can drag down too small. These boots don't match the footprints. So somebody besides Carrie was he what is this dude doing, do you think? Like, has he noticed that there are footprints? Uh, is he trying to see, like, how many footprints there are? I'm gonna, let me see if I can go talk to the widow about Anything? Is there anything else I can talk to her about? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Uh, was he a smoker, right? Because I found tobacco and his private papers, and I already did that. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Okay. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. It was stolen. Thank you, madam. Presumably it was stolen. It's the thing that, that was presumably stolen. Can I do anything over here? Can I, can I rob her house while she's outside? No, okay. All right, uh, this is pretty. This is all pretty. Uh, I should check, what is this? What's going on here? This is a cart full of boxes. What's up with the cart full of boxes? Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. All right. Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Doing it. I'm on it. I'm working on it. Organize an ambush with Lestrade. Mysterious intruder might return tonight. Finish what he planned. I feel like I did that. Uh, okay, maps. Evidence. We got his boot. Uh, there was somebody else here. We got a sharp knife. 
that uh, he tried to defend himself with, but super ineffectively. The initials J H N uh, A S M T Y B R S O M T I T K Rano Jint uh, Copper Coco uh, Louie Pot and Q Tobacco Pot Pouch I didn't even look at the sailing reports. Um, this is the, his chest of papers. Uh, capable gardener works here. Unidentified footprints. Okay, alright. Back to stuff that we know. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Lestrade again? Just like... So stake out. Good place for an ambush. Oh, Perhaps behind Carrie's cabin. I see. Down. Oh, you were you were waiting for me to do a thing. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, this looks like the perfect hiding place. Sure does. Deduction space icon appears at each time you find a new clue. I see. So you can you can do the that that sort of weird deduction thing, brain deduction. Those two guys are amazing. Shh. Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Wait, what? I. I guess I'm supposed to be right behind him. Not. I'm Mr. not. Holmes, like, hurried or Come anything, and see what we've caught in our net. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. He innocent. assures us. And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came in? K H N, right? No, but, but I, yes, it, it's just that I couldn't. I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. I'm just waiting Tomorrow, for him to ask. See that you're put in front of the judge. What is it that he came what? to try to get? But you can't. I'm not. It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. The yard. It's in light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay, casebook time. Alright, this, this seems like an appropriate moment to take a very short break. Uh, and we will come back in just a minute and keep solving this mystery.